In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the unit, visualize your data with Lightning Dashboard Builder. This is the fourth unit in the module reports and dashboards for a Lightning experience. Lots of important concepts in this in terms of dashboards, super important stuff, definitely comes up in the Lightning Experience Reports and Dashboards Specialist Super Badge and dashboards is really the thing that you are gonna be showing to leadership um, most often and Hopefully, if you make awesome stuff, it will convince them the worth of Salesforce, the value that it has, the ability to get more data out of it for them to direct their business in a way that's going to be more effective. So not to put too much pressure on you, but it's good to know this stuff. Lincoln Ehrlich, a top sales spread at Ursa Major Solar, wants a dashboard that shows all the company's deals. He wants to see quickly how many opportunities his team has at each stage of the pipeline, create the underlying re opportunities report, then create a dashboard, add a component that displays the report as a donut chart on the dashboard. This is gonna be really important for him, especially because as I've mentioned many times before, typically the way salespeople are compensated is tied to meeting a certain number of sales that they have to meet either within a month or within a quarter depending on the company, depending on the sales cycles and all that stuff. Uh, depending on where they are in that, let's say in that quarter, you would expect opportunities to be at one stage of the pipeline, meaning as they're move, the pipeline is moving through the sales process from opportunity, all the different stages within there until closed one or closed loss, either way. And towards the end, you would want to see things closer to the end, right? So understanding where you are at that point gives you the ability to direct your attention to say, hey, we're early in this stage sales cycle. We do not have enough open opportunities at, that, at this point to anticipate being able to meet our number. So sales team, let's spend a little bit less time trying to close deals right now and a little bit more time in developing new leads for the next week, you know, something like that. Or towards the end of the quarter, hey team, don't let's not be cold calling anymore to try to develop new leads. Let's close the business, get in the books, you know? And so th that's gonna be how this report is gonna become super important, will help direct people's activities. Okay, create a report, the opportunity type, the type is opportunities. So we're gonna go reports, new report, Opportunities, continue. Standard filter is close date and the range is all time. Close date, all time, and opportunity status is any and probability is all. That's set there, we don't have anything about this. Okay, we'll leave that out, we'll just ignore that. Fields, opportunity name and opportunity owner. opportunity name so we can get rid of and account name we can get rid of we don't want stage we're going to group it by stage and then group by stage and we're going to change save this as opportunity stages Save and run, opportunity stage, stages. Again, I'm keeping it in private, but chances are you'd want it in your public reports so other people can see it too. Now we're gonna create a dashboard called Big Deals. New dashboard. Big Deals, again, Probably should change the folder if you're doing this in real life. And we're gonna add a component called upper, from there we're gonna add the opportunity stages um, report. As a donut. And that's the name there, Opportunity Stages, click Add. And 
and then we're gonna save the dashboard. That should do it. Okay, let's click save.